numbers. Uh, this is intended to be routine to make up the season for but remembering that a lot of people leave and play within the first two years. That's something we've got to deal with. And then we are going to talk about conditional announcement, you know, how that feeds and embeds into maximizing those moments of impact for patients and get our staff to more time to spend those. So thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you for that. Thank, thank you for that uh, reflection, Thomas. And I wanted to pick up one point in terms of um, inclusion and how you make reference to a new staff. This is one of them. Uh, in the adoption. And I think, at least in my, in my spin, uh, when you were there, when you were present, I think, who was it? Who, uh, one of the nets? It was me, I think. It was Linda. And Linda actually shared with us that there were a number of people there that were returnees, and they were returning because of um, the changes that, they, that we've made here, and how it's a different place to where they worked before, and how they feel lived more in. In, in, in previous, it's, it's more inclusive. And I thought that was an absolutely great testament of the journey, not there yet, but of the journey that we, you know, that, that we're on to actually, that sound is actually going out to say, why don't you go and come and work for your section of tea? It's a great place to work for, so, and it's great for us to, to get that. Well, thank you for the reflections of the values. Um, just in almost concluding now, that's it of the agenda. Um, and is anything from our discussions today needs to be reflected in the back? Have we had anything in the list? Have we heard anything in any of the reports where we say um, that's not what we probably touched on the back? Um, it may not be, but it's an opportunity for us as a board just to reflect. The the potential of the about it, even just about how we utilize it, is the how we protect ourselves by using it. I think also the gender challenges are the same. Yes, the gender challenges, because that's why we've got obviously our performance, we've got a step down and everything we've done as well. Yeah, that's the same. It's also the value as well. If there's nothing else, I don't have any other business, but uh, there are no members of the public, but we do have our governors, and so it's an opportunity now for the governors to have got any questions in relation to uh, any of the agenda items they have Yeah, I mean, thank you for the chair. I mean, all I'm going to say, what I see here, what I see or heard, that's what I'm reflecting, and being your chair, you haven't lost your coolness. <laughs> 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 I just have to do my own thing. So, we don't have much. We don't have much. Thank you for that. And, uh, and if you have a full house, six is not executive, and we have six executive, yeah. and you are the chair. So that's, uh, and what uh, I see on the cake is what uh, Thomas said about our trust value. I mean, a lot of service users, they are mental health patients. It's less, some of them learn experience from them. When they're born, up to 10. And that's what my, and what you said about showing your value, going extra mile. One of the psychologists, she works here, a clinical side, I forgot her name. She done London Marathon last month. And that was your newsletter, which was shared. Yeah. And she got, because she honored her friend, she got 26 miles for raising money for memory of her friend. That's what we do. That's what our value does. So, saying that our value, my question will be coming to the board. And it's all about kindness and compassion. It's known. Now means I'm loaning someone, you, you're loaning your strength. That's what Thomas is saying. Loaning your strength instead of reminding them of their weakness. In my care provider, that's where it's helped me. And through the home treatment, I used it. And now going back, 
Professor Shashi, who is that, brought the home treatment to them, you saw the book, and is coming back now with the help of Kabina and with the other Imichi and, and uh, Abdi, Marcus, all this service team that now we are trying to put a bid for the community mental health treatment to our trust. Have for managers, I wish you, I wish them all well. And my question is uh, what, uh, Chair, I would like to thank you for how we can be accountable to ourselves and bring changes to our trust. That's why you wrote this, you said it, net appraisal. NHS England trying to encourage from our staff to feedback, do the survey, and from the, our service leader to, and that's what our, you ask all the governors to feedback about the non executive what they do, one thing great, what one thing that you should do more. And that is the power, the chain we bring without our accountability. And I like to thank. 24 7 helpline with the NHS England, which is running now, and 111 option two. People have been campaigning, it's live from April. So, my question what was saying, what first team, as the Vanessa, you said, your first team, how they listen, how they want, that's where they lend lonely their value to them is a final weakness. That's why you get more of it. So my question will be what uh, Patrick said, uh, Winston said about maybe about the uh, Patrick said about risk. You know what we take to, without you know if we go on to the risk, we need to have a risk and David here for governance. We need to risk and governance is very important. But to me, what he was saying, risk, and what Linda said, black people detain more than white people. My mind is running. Why is it? And then, right person, right care. And we are complained, 52.4% from Lisa, saying the female, maybe from 42%, ethnic minority, but people are not complaining. So my question is, why is it we need more data and risk? You know, when you ask me, what is your best food for me? It may be different from white people, may be different from Chinese and black people. So when you take a risk, our data say is more people in forensic and secure, and more people detained by mental health act. So uh, my question is, is why? Yes. Um, thank you, as always. Um, you know, a, lot, a lot of what you've asked and a lot of what you say, a lot of support that we get from you, not just what you just said, but good mm -hmm. work you do with us on a day to day basis, so thank you. Um, I don't think any of us are saying we need more data. I think what we're saying about health inequalities is the data has been there for years um, and what we need to determine is so what so what are we going to, to do with it i think that sometimes particularly when we start sharing the data more widely and we're thinking much more we are kind of thinking much more thoughtful about um you know this chair today you know having been asked to actually you know identify from a protected characteristic, from a particular ethnicity and other complaints. So we're trying to be more thoughtful about putting it as a lens to which you look at everything. But there's this point around including it, for example, in our improvement work as well. You know, what how this improvement help us on that journey. Um, but we also need to be, I think people find it a bit overwhelmed when they get the data because it's, I mean, it, it's a huge issue. It's, it, it's a, a big issue that hasn't been spoken about for so long. And now we're talking about it. Um, it's hard to determine where to focus in and where to, and, and, and I want to make a difference with that. But what I was, I'm really struck about is when you sit and talk to people within their community settings, 
they're quite clear about the one or two things that they think are most important. They recognise the better of data, um, but they're much clearer. And my kind of commitment, I think, is that particularly now we are developing the, the consistent strategy that Patrick spoke about, um, and we've developed better relationships with our voluntary sector partners and with our communities, that that strategy will reflect the one or two things for each community that they really want us in the mental health world to make a difference on. It will be absolutely in line with the data we've already got, but it will help us really focus on the things that people want to make a difference. Thank you. Thank you. No, thanks, Bill. But uh, I might stay on for the second session instead of the fantastic. So I think it's just I'm interested in this because they're not satisfied. So thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes today's uh, board and public meeting. Thanks to three patients that have lost 15 minutes. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs>